Rebecca from Hip Homeschooling. This is Homeschool Planet and I'm going to be as fast as I can. There are so many things in this program. So I'm going to quickly spout off my top 10 reasons that I love Homeschool Planet. I honestly, I just, I can hardly say enough about it. Okay, so number one, you have three different views. You can view resources, you can view it calendar view, and you can also view it in planner view. So this would be more like your schedule. You can actually set up, I've set up times for how long each thing is going to take and created a schedule. You can also print those off. I apologize, you're not gonna be able to see everything on the side here. And they give you options for economy or color. So, um, this is gonna be super slow. So here you can see, you also have the option of setting it for everybody or just setting it for one person or whoever you could print off your own schedule for that day whatever you wanted number two you can add the entire family so you can see over here I've got everybody in my family including my husband and I love that um, there's a lot of resources as to why we would add ourselves that I will get into after under each child you'll see here that you can be adding classes they have a profile you can go in and edit what grade they're in, um, add email addresses if you had an older child that you could be actually sending them their assignments, um, birthdays, appointments, chores, sports, all of that can be done inside each one. Um, you can also, okay, so this is number three, you can input, sell, and email. So let's take a look here. I'm going to show you my husband's profile. So I can put in his email and his cell phone number to send him daily digests or weekly digests. Um, so he could be seeing what's happening and what's going on. All right, number four, um, you can sync a calendar. So for example, my husband works shift work. I can sync our Google Calendar right into Daily Planet or Homeschool Planet, I mean, or vice versa. I could schedule, you know, our Homeschool Planet, all of our schedule that's going on right into um, our Google Calendar. So he can have it at work and then I can have it here at home on what I'm using. So you would just go into your settings and share, and you can either share in or you can share out. So if I wanted to share in from Google, um, there's tutorials on exactly how you would do this, but it's a fantastic resource. All right, number five, you can add classes and assignments. So let's quickly show you just how easy it is. So I've already set up all of my subjects that we use. So for example, science, um, well, let's just say group science. We do science as a group. So um, I could say Caleb, Sela, and Malachi, we're doing science together. I could say that we are only doing science on Tuesday and Thursdays um, for the entire year. I can choose, um, let's just see here, resources. So I could say, for science, we are going to be doing human body detectives. Um, I've inputted all my resources already. I could say that's only actually going to take us, let's say, July to October, um, then, or that's September, sorry. Share assignment, and then I can actually enter assignment. So either I could say every day just do one lesson, or, and add that for all of the days of the program or I could come down here and create assignments for each day okay so that is how you come in and create assignments so number six you can create shopping lists and to-do lists okay this is fantastic get ready over here to-do list I can create a to-do list for my son for myself for my husband honey do list yeah so I could ask him to change the batteries in the smoke detector, to go to the dump, whatever. Now, if you know he's at work and I just really want to make his day, I can text it to him. How amazing is that? That's amazing. Okay, so I can also go in here and create shopping lists. And this is the kicker, you can set up all your stores you generally go to and create shopping lists for each one. And either print them based on which one, and it will say, you know, this is Costco's list, Walmart's list, or 
you can text it right to you. So if your husband's at the store, you make a quick list, text it to him. You're at home, you're doing school, you're on your homeschool planet, and boom, he's got a shopping list right on his phone. Epic, it's just epic. Okay, number seven. I'm getting away with myself here. You can create a login. You could do this for each child. I won't be using it really for my children. Um, if you had older children, this would be fantastic. So you just go here, you can allow your child or your husband, you can create a password for them. For your child, maybe you just want them to be able to view. Um, for my husband, I'd want him to be able to go in and see their grades and assign grades. Maybe he's helping out with some things. So you can create logins for everybody in here as well, okay? Yay. Number eight, my favorite aspect. It really is. I know I sound gung ho about everything, but this is amazing. Right up here where you see helpers, you can create a rescheduling helper. And this actually pops up if you're setting up assignments. So if, say, you just have stuff that's overdue and you log in and you're like, ah, we haven't been to school this week, we had company, you can reschedule just what's overdue. If you had stuff that was overdue and, you know, today's assignments, just getting busy, you could reschedule both. Or you could just say, you know what, we've got a showing today, we're not going to get to anything, let's just be real, and you could reschedule the entire day. Okay, so this is by far, you can't get that in a paper planner. Paper planner, you're scratching it out and rewriting the entire thing. So that's my favorite aspect. Number nine is that you can set grades, print off grades, print off grade reports. Um, it's super easy to do. I'll show you quickly just where you would do that. Um, if I was setting up fine arts, you can set up grading um, based on um, pass or fail, based on ABC. You can set up which percentage for each thing. And then it's really easy to go in there and grade. And even easier to hit the reports on the top, which is number 10, my favorite thing, is that you can come in and do reports. So you can print off assignments, you can print off your grades, class hours, transcripts, whatever, right in here and have them um, have them in there as well. And quickly, just so you guys can see, I know it's getting long, I know. You see how much there is? So um, there's lots of tutorials right in here, but under resources, I'm just gonna show you the amazing, like I've added every single book on our shelf. You can add them by ISBN, um, you can add the author, the publisher, any notes about it, what subject you're going to use it for. Um, you can input books, textbooks, workbooks, magazines, articles, websites. And I just want to show you this quickly. So you could put the URL of the website. You could have that would be right into their assignment. They could click on it if they were on the computer logged in. And here, if it's, you know, reading aids, it's nothing too important. I could put his username and password. And you know, for each of those little things that they've got usernames and passwords for, you can input it right into here. And then you're not forgetting, and it's all in one place. So, do I recommend Homeschool Planet? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, for what you're paying for, by the time you buy yourself a planner and your kids' planners, it's, it's well under... We honestly, it's cheaper than what you can get a paper planner for, and it is so much easier. We love planners, I love writing things down, I love paper, and you know, I'm a sucker for them. But the reality is, I don't use them. I use them for the first month when I'm gung ho, and then I don't use them at all for the rest of the year, and now I can't use it at all because the year's passed and they're all based on the year. This you can use. Because even if you didn't do school for a month, you had a bad month, stuff kept coming up, it's hit and miss, you're feeling super discouraged, you don't have to throw it away, you don't have to reschedule everything, you hit a button and it reschedules everything for you. So I hope you can tell from my exuberant enthusiasm that I love Homeschool Planets and I think it is well worth the investment. And I think for anybody that's like me, that likes to schedule and needs a schedule, but has a hard time, you know, keeping up with it and the keeping keeping the drive going and, you know, gets tired of scratching things out and reviewing it, this is for you. It's a one-year subscription. You'll have access to it all year, all of these resources. And yeah, Homeschool Planet by Homeschool Buyers Co-op. So you can read more on my blog, hiphomeschoolingblog.com. And um, yeah, I hope you guys liked the review and make sure to hit subscribe.